so many things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Cause there's a possibility that you look at me differently, love. Ever since the first moment. Morning, everyone. I am on my way to pick up a few things from Target. Some like fall stuff, not decor like snacks and stuff because I want to start doing Sefton's lunch in like Halloween theme I did it last year too but he really likes stuff like that so that's where I'm headed I'm gonna work out I have my workout clothes on already so I'll work out when I get home then we'll go from there so just want to come in and say hello good morning to you all and I'll check in in a little bit. All right. guys just got back in from Target and wanted to give you guys a quick little grocery haul fall slash Halloween thing because we got a little bit of everything in this haul but I don't know I was just in the mood to pick up all of the like uh, Target themed pumpkin spice stuff so first thing I picked up are these honey pumpkin goat cheese raviolis sounds very interesting I'm gonna give these a try I don't know how I'm gonna like them but I like honey I like pumpkin I like goat cheese and I do like ravioli so I'm hoping I like it so I got those I also picked up this pumpkin spice tea I picked up these cranberry and pumpkin seed artisanal crisp I thought those would be good with like tuna or just by themselves or with like some cheese. I picked up this apple chopped salad kit. It sounded good. I got these for Seth for his lunch. Just these little fruit strips that he liked, but they are Halloween themed. Also got him the Glogurt Halloween themed um, yogurts for his lunch as well. Oatmeal, pumpkin spice oatmeal. Pumpkin spice granola. I really like this granola. It's so good. Pumpkin spice whipped topping. Just as a little treat. Of course, my creamer. Mox apple orchard fruit snacks for Sefton for his lunch because I thought they were interesting and they're new. Um, he likes apple flavored stuff. So, got him that. And then these aren't really fall themed, but they're more like geared toward game day themed <laughs> but I picked up this um, hot buffalo um, tuna and these buffalo wing um, pretzel, chip, pretzel chips I figured that would be a good combo for a snack or for a quick lunch and then I got Sefton the limited edition apple pie toast crunch he loves cinnamon toast crunch and he loves apple like I've said several times so I got these for so yeah that's what I picked up. We've got some pumpkins back there if you can see because Sefton and PJ are going to do some pumpkin painting um, later. And so I got that out for them. I'm gonna get the paint and stuff out. Actually, the paint and stuff is already out over there. Yeah, they're gonna paint some pumpkins. Yeah, just wanted to come on and share with you all <laughs> what we grabbed from Target. Um, our little pumpkin spice fall food and snacks mainly mostly snacks to be honest so, 
yeah I'm actually gonna probably eat this for lunch so all right that's it First moment I spoke your name From then on I knew That by you being in my life Things were destined to change Cause love So many people use your name in vain all right guys so i just got back in from our walk and i figured i would share with you all kind of how i do our weekly menu i did get some questions in a few of my vlogs asking for me to share how i do the weekly menus now typically i would just do a piece of paper and just jot down what we're gonna have and that be that but since i'm gonna share with you guys and i don't want to subject you all to my chicken scratch i'm gonna type it up which i think it'll look nice anyway so i may do it like this anyway going forward but um i just put right on the top weekly menu bring that up a little bit and i just have monday through sunday uh we did discuss already what we wanted for the week i try not to have too much of the same stuff back to back and so and i like to have a variety um now i will note we do not eat pork so you guys may notice like in grocery hauls you never see any pork or beef it's because we don't eat it pk will eat pork occasionally but we don't buy it we don't bring it in the house at all so neither of my boys have ever eaten pork <laughs> i don't eat pork and the only time pk really eats pork is if we're like out to breakfast or somewhere and he wants to get like some bacon but as far as like having like pork products in the house we just don't buy it this is what we're working with right now and this is basically a guide it's not very structured even though it looks like it is because there are some days we wake up on a Wednesday and we'll say we want Chipotle today and then we'll just do Chinese on Friday and vice versa. Uh, or we may decide on Friday we just want to go out to eat or on Saturday we want to go out to eat. But what this does is it helps hold me accountable <laughs> as far as being the person that cooks all the meals. It holds me accountable because each day I can look at the menu discuss with everyone make sure we're all on the same page and then if i need to go to the grocery store to pick up things which usually i do need to pick up like shrimp and salmon and like fresh produce and things like that which isn't a big deal because like i've shared with you guys before we don't stockpile meats and things like that um i just prefer to go and get it fresh when we need it so i'll go and grab shrimp and corn on a cob we already have the potatoes and that's what we'll have tonight that has been confirmed and then what i usually will do is just start another page and then just make a grocery list of things that i need to get so right here i have salmon but i need to take that out and just put shrimp because we've decided that we're we were going to do salmon here but we're going to do shrimp now and these are all the other things that i will need to get throughout the week so I'll just print this off as well and put it on the fridge and then as I need things I can kind of just go with a marker or a pen and just cross it off um, but yeah it's super simple um, it's not complicated at all like I said you can do this on your computer like I'm doing it or you could just get a piece of paper and a pen and do it that way too I do get that I do get asked that question a lot too is like how do I like make meals for everyone i eat different i don't eat a lot of carbs for dinner um there are just certain things that 
everyone else eats in the house that I just don't eat or I just am not in the mood for. Tuesday, I'll just probably make a, a salad and if we have leftover shrimp, I'll try to buy enough shrimp to just do a shrimp salad or I'll just do mixed vegetables in the shrimp. So I kind of make it where I could still eat what I'm cooking, but not all the like heavy stuff. Um, I also will do brown rice for myself and I do white rice for everyone else. So yeah, just simple little things like that helps me. Chipotle, I pretty much keep it real simple there. Homemade pizza, that's, you know, I can keep it simple there. And then on Sunday, we'll just do some turkey chili in the slow cooker or crock pot, whatever you call it. Call it. Highly recommend. <laughs> doing a weekly menu for your families. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and print it off and then I'll show you guys how it looks printed. And yeah, that'll be it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, this is it. I'm a tinted, I'm